just wanted to make a quick video of uh, the painting process of my go fish. Um, the thing was kind of yellowing and as much as I don't like the yellow, what was even bothering me more was that it was kind of a weird inconsistent patch yellow. There were spots that were darker. So it was, it was just kind of yellowing in a really strange way. If it was all even, I think I could have lived with it. I would have sanded it or something and just kind of uh, made it into an interesting retro yellow. But um, just didn't like it. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll fast forward most of it so that way you don't have to, to be bored for the five, six hours that it took me to actually do this. This green tape is bringing out the yellow. Um, it makes the fire wire yellow look kind of cool. So, to be honest, I mean, I might consider just painting this green versus uh, painting the whole bottom. The only reason why I'm going to continue with the bottom is because there's some weird sun damage where there's light spots. And um, I think. I kind of want to go with uh, my original idea and we'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't look good, then I'll just sand it off. Be a lot of work. of how I did this I marked with a sharpie the outer edge that way when I laid the masking tape down I could see through the masking tape that line and then when I cut I cut inside that black edge so when I paint it'll cover up the uh, sharpie mark so I did that to both sides uh, I'm gonna try to salvage this logo uh, the Machado logo is kind of difficult because it's got his lettering all that stuff and rather than trying to do that, I'm going to basically keep an outer edge of the white. That way it looks like it's a white outline sticker with a black 
um, Machado logo inside. Uh, the one thing is, is I want to soften these corners, so I'm going to get a penny, and I'm just going to round these corners off so it looks a little bit better, and we'll see how that goes. And I think after that, I'm ready to spray. Bye-bye, Firewire Yellow. I hear the sounds of your heartbeat I can hear it now I can hear it now I hear the sounds Final coats on. Took quite a few coats to get uh, the white to not come through. So lesson learned. If I'm painting a white board, probably shoot it with a dark color like black really quick, like a black or dark gray primer, and then go with your color. Otherwise, you're going to have to put on like five coats, which is a lot. So anyways, looks really good gonna wait for it to dry a tad and then I'm gonna try to take off this uh, tape all right sorry about that I started the peel but then realized I wasn't filming so okay here we go I already took off the main tape that left the little green line I got the whites do is I want to only just cover the hole because I want the clear coat to overlap so that way it has some uh, st strength and the paint lasts otherwise I feel like it's just gonna peel up two X clear When it's not under the light, it looks really dark, which is what I wanted. It's kind of a burgundy color. The camera is making it brighter than it is, but it's super dark. It's really nice. I like the way it came out. Uh, I'm going to end the video like this because I still have to clear coat the top. And I was getting impatient because I wanted to finish this video and then I screwed up and I touched the paint. Oh, heartbreak. It's all right. I think I'm going to mask that off and just repaint it. Just this little portion right there. Or I'll put a sticker on it. But uh, for the most part, love it. Love the way it came out. Um, I think the rails will look nice. Uh, there's going to be a black stripe. Uh, the original black stripe underneath. And then the top, I'm going to leave the ugly fire wire yellow. Which I think will look a lot better with this uh, red color. So anyways. I will hope you... Like it as much as I do, I think it's kind of cool. Looks super retro. Alright.